Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy and today we will take a look at how to customize the look of macOS Big Sur to fit your style even more. macOS Big Sur features a whole new redesign but it doesn't mean that you can't customize it even more. We will start with the most obvious change and that's changing the background. You see it all the time and it covers the whole screen but the most people don't realize that the menu bar and the finder window is tinted by the color of the background as well. You can customize it in the system preferences or just simply right click the desktop and select change desktop background. Now when I change the background, notice how it also changes the menu bar. If I select the photo of Big Sur for example, you can see how now the light blue sky is shown in the menu bar. If I choose one of the illustrated backgrounds like this one, you can see how this color of menu bar is taken from the background. I also like these dynamics pictures because they will change throughout the day. Of course you can use your own photo, you can use your own graphic and change it the way how you like it. So play around with different backgrounds and see how the menu bar is changing. Next we'll have a look in accessibility settings, because there are a few other things you can change there. So let's go into system preferences, accessibility and then to display. The first one I want to look at is reduced transparency. Now look closely at the menu bar. If I select this option, you can see that the menu bar is white now. It's no longer using the color behind it. But also notice how Windows changes. The same thing happened there. It's white. Maybe it's more clear to read it now. Now another one here you might want to check out is increased contrast. When I use that, I get extreme contrast. It's very similar to the previous one. Now the gray icons and buttons turn to black and I get these solid black lines here. I think it looks very weird, but some people like it, so I wanted to mention it too. It looks like Mac from 80s or 90s, so let's turn it off again. There is also one another option in accessibility settings you should pay attention to, and that's the menu bar size. You actually have two options for menu bar size, default and large. What it will do is increase the font size not just of the menu bar, but of the menus as well. It's not a big change, but sometimes you wish that the text is slightly bigger for easier reading. So here is the option. If you don't like the menu bar and windows to be transparent at all, you can go to general settings and then look at the option allow wallpaper tinting in windows. When I turn it off, you can see it get a bit brighter. In fact, they are solid colors now. They are not reflecting the color of the background at all. So it kind of returns the classic style of Mac OS X. When we are here in general, you might have a look at the other things as well. First you can change the accent color and what happens is that it will change the selection here in the system preferences. In Finder it will change the color of these sidebar icons and make changes even in some other apps like Notes. So instead of the classic yellow, it will be blue as I select it. Personally I like to keep it more colorful, that's why I have the multicolor option selected. But maybe you prefer some color over other? So this is the place where you can change it. You can also choose highlight color. So highlight color would appear when you select text. So I can have it go along with whatever the accent color is. Or change it to something specific, maybe like red. So you will always know that highlighted text will be red, no matter if you are renaming the folder or selecting the text notes, where it would normally be yellow. Now the big part of a new macOS are these icons in the sidebar. But not many people know that you can also set these to be bigger. This option is also in system preferences under general. And here you have a sidebar icon size. So you can switch to small, you could go to large or leave it default medium. You can also switch the overall look just by one click, by using the light and dark mode. You can change that right here in the top. If you will be switching it manually, you can also get to it in the control center by clicking on the arrow key next to the display. When I turn it on, you can see that the dynamic desktops also change to reflect that it's a dark mode on. All the windows change very drastically, they are all dark and black. Notice that you also have the automatic option. So it will be switching in the evening for the dark mode to be more pleasant for the eyes. And also change it in the morning to the light one again. I think it's convenient to have it on automatic. Next, we'll have a look at the control center, which can also be customized. All you need to do is to go in system preferences and then select dock and menu bar. And pretty much everything on the left side, except the first item, will allow you to control what is shown in the menu bar and what's shown in the control center or both. You can rearrange it yourself by dragging it around, even drag it up to the menu bar 
so you will have a quick access to some specific settings here. To remove it from there, you just need to hold the command key down and drag it away. Now there is one more element, which is always present on the screen. And that's a date and time. It will always be on the top right corner. You can't remove it completely, because it also works as a button to bring up the notification center. But you can customize it in system preferences. It is also hidden in the same category in the dock and menu bar. Previously these settings were under date and time. But now it falls under dock and menu bar, so it's further down here in this list. Here you can decide if you want to show the day of the week, if you want to show the date at all. You can also switch to analog lock, which is great if you just want to minimize this and use the least amount of space as possible. But if you are sticking with digital, you have more options here. You can use 24 hour time, have AM or PM shown here, flash the time separators and even display the time with seconds. Now if you click on the time, you will get to the notification center. The first thing always on top here will be notifications. If you are getting too many notifications from some app, you can change it. You can change which notification shows up and how they show up. Go to system preferences again and select notifications. Then for each app here, like calendar, you can change the style or the notifications or turn it off completely, so it will not be appearing in notification center anymore. The widgets is the next you can see here in notification center and it can also be customized. Just scroll down to the bottom and click edit widgets. Here you have the entire interface and you can use it to add widgets. You can click on the widgets to customize the settings of that particular widget, like changing the clock in the world clock. You can select different sizes and then drag it around and rearrange it as you wish. So these all settings are very general things that can change the overall look of macOS Big Sur. But there are also some specific settings that will change it only for the special app or just the functions of the app. So for example in Finder, you have these buttons at the top and you can customize it by right clicking on the toolbar and select customize toolbar. Then that allows you to drag and drop new elements to the toolbar and rearrange these. These toolbars are almost in every app and they can be customized as well. So these are just some ideas how to change the overall look of macOS Big Sur to fit your style even more. There are many other ways how to customize other elements on the Mac. For example the dock. Maybe rearrange the items on the touch bar if you have one of these models. And also many other settings in Safari, you can customize the overall look on the start screen. So let me know in the comments what would you like to see next, and I will make a video about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go ahead and change the style of your Mac. And if you like this kind of videos, subscribe to the channel and I will tell you more in the next videos. This is Luke, and I will see you again.